Spritten 50, and today we are going to look at the Liebert Equalizer bars and their many roll variations. Now you may feel that you are too strong for a uh, body weight row, but stick right to the end. My last two variations are so difficult, I promise you that they will test you right to your limits. So this is probably the first and the most basic. This is one that you'll see a lot. Um, it's it's a, very much a core exercise as all of these rows are. You see you gotta keep your core straight and in line there. Now that your feet, the closer they are to your uh, body, the easier it is, the farther away it is, the more challenging it gets. Now the first variation is just quite simply up and down. Now if you want to make this more difficult, you'd raise a leg. And then that creates a little more stabilization issues for you there. And then the next level, you're just taking your feet straight out. If you saw my video on my favorite Liebert exercises, this is my favorite row right here. But it gets much more challenging than that, so stay tuned. So the next level of difficulty is to use a chair. Now, you gotta remember, keep that core tight. You don't want to get your form sloppy, and it's pretty easy to happen. You can just start doing this, and then you're moving at the core, and you're not taking advantage of that long lever. You need to keep the core tight, a good long lever, and it'll add to the challenge. Your feet are the lever. Adjust your feet and you'll be a believer. And you'll see just how hard these rows can be. So these next few actually aren't so much difficult as they are they uh, have different hand positions. The different hand positions then will help to hit your back in different ways to help give your back a little more complete development and just a way to uh, challenge yourself a bit differently. So I'll show you these next few. So this is a neutral grip when your hands are like this. Now the farther you have this forward, you can only go so far forward it will tip on you. But the farther you have it forward, you can get your back up off the ground and you can do your rows. Now same thing, that's a little bit easier. And you can raise the leg to create a little instability which will work your core a bit more. You go this way, so that was a prone grip, right? The way we did them in the first few was a neutral grip. Here's a supinated grip. And now with this grip here, I find I really need to raise my legs. So I'll grab the lever, other lever bar here, set it up, and you can use a chair. And you may find that a chair works better for you because it's a little bit unstable. But you can also use your second lever bar to put your feet up on. You'll twirl it. There we go. And you can roll like this. Let me straighten out. There. And you'll find that gives you a bit more bicep activation as well. Now the other way it's a bit more traditional grip and you'll see in quite a few of the videos is an alternating grip. We have one, one hand each way, and then you're doing it again. You can either do it in this position here, or you can straighten your legs out, or you can raise up. Now, what I'd recommend when you're doing this is to make sure that you do ha your hands opposite an equal amount of reps each way, as your each varying hand position does work your back a little bit differently. So the major muscles of our back are our lats, our traps, our rhomboids, and our teres major and minor on the side. So really, there's a lot going on back there. Okay, so now we're on to the hardest two. Uh, this one here you will see as we're talking all this time, we're spending our time talking about putting our feet out and how extending our feet increases the lever and the difficulty. We're going to do just the opposite this time. We're going to pull our feet right in over top of our body. Let me show you what I mean. That exercise can actually be made even harder. If you extend your legs straight up, 
and then slowly start increasing your legs out. My last row variation, and that is the one arm row. So when I do a one arm row, same thing, straighten the core. This really works your core, by the way. And you just pull up. And of course, then you have to alternate with the other arm. So as you extend your feet out, when you do the one arm row, it gets more difficult. So that's the way you can make it more challenging. And those are all of my Libra row variations. If you know of a Libra row variation that you like, put it in the comments, let me know what it is. Uh, if there's any ideas that you have, some things you'd like to try, have me try, put that in the comments also. Please like the video if you enjoyed this content. Share it with your friends if you've got people who are interested in body weight training or they're just looking for a different way to work out a little more excitement and variation into their training as the Libra Bars will do that for you. And subscribe because I would love to see you in that next video. And speaking of that next video, it's Fit and 50 signing out. Keep working out, keep having fun, and we will talk to you soon.